Yo, what is going on everybody? Expert Gamer here bringing you guys my review on Dragon Ball Super Episode 9. Now, I know that I'm a few days late on the episode, and that's because I watched it a little bit late, but I still wanted to get my review and my thoughts on the episode out there to you guys so that we can communicate. But yeah, episode 9 was a pretty decent episode all around. I was about to say episode 6, what the hell? But yeah, the episode was really interesting, and something that I noticed while I was watching it is that everything seemed more in detail like when the super saiyan god ritual was going on i felt like i was more absorbed into the episode and my eyes were more hooked onto the screen like it was just a lot more interesting than the battle of gods version and of course that's just me that's just my opinion but yeah i noticed that another thing that i wanted to talk about was in the beginning of the episode when shenron is called upon the Z fighters to grant their wish regarding the uh, Super Saiyan God. And Goku first says uh, Shenron, you know, can you tell us anything about the God? Can you bring him here? And then Goku mentions it, mentions uh, Lord Beerus' name. And Shenron just starts freaking out. He's like, Lord Beerus always oh, here. And then he starts acting all proper. He changes the way he talks just to please Lord Beerus. And I found that interesting because like the big dragon who's always grumpy with his time He's finally respecting someone, and of course that someone is going to be Lord Beerus. So maybe in future Dragon Ball Super episodes, when Shenron is called forth again, maybe we'll see more interactions between Beerus and him. But that's just a maybe. I would like to see it just for more, you know, like, memorable moments throughout the series. But moving on, we all pretty much know what happens in Battle of Gods. Basically... Shenron finally tells them, you know, if five pure-hearted Saiyans pour their hearts out into one Saiyan, then, you know, the Super Saiyan God is created. And, of course, they all step up. Uh, that is Vegeta, Trunks, or Goten. Uh, Vegeta, Trunks, Goten, Gohan, and Goku. And they all get into the ritual form, or so they think it's the ritual form. Put their hands on Goku's backs, and then they actually start putting ki into Goku. They're not putting their hearts into Goku. They're only giving Goku energy. And that is why Gohan says, I can feel that your energy is stronger than it's ever been before. That's because, you know, he had four Saiyans behind him pouring all their energy as Super Saiyans into him. So that's why Gohan said that. But obviously it didn't work. They're wondering why it's not working. And then uh, Whis tells them why it's not working. And that is when Videl steps up and says, you know, I'm carrying on to this baby. Everybody finds out that Gohan has a baby. But this all happened in Battle of Gods, so it's not new news. It's just pretty much being re-detailed throughout the, uh, this Dragon Ball Super episode. But then Videl steps up. She's in the middle of the entire ritual right now. And then everybody else is on the sides, and I think Gohan and Vegeta are touching Goku's back. And now they're actually starting to pour heart into Goku. The entire animation changes. It looks more detailed, and I'm actually getting into it. And a lot of um, heat has come from this episode, a debate. Basically, Videl's hair was shining yellow, but personally, I think it's just because of all the Super Saiyans around her. You know, the light, it's getting under her hair. But people were saying that Videl actually turned into a Super Saiyan while doing the ritual. And now like she has powers inside of her. I don't believe that at all. I think it was just how it was animated. Like the Saiyan's hair are going on to her. So obviously it's going to be glowing yellow. It's like if you get a flashlight that's colored blue and you point it at yourself, you're going to turn blue. But you're not blue. It's just the flashlight that's going on to you to make you blue. That's basically how I see the entire Videl thing. And I think that's really the only way to see it. I don't really see her as a Super Saiyan at all. But of course, I do like hearing what you guys have to say about the situation. So tell me in the comments, do you think Videl was a Super Saiyan? And then say why. Or do you agree with me? And then also say why. I just like reading what you guys have to say about all the situations that I talk about throughout these episodes of Dragon Ball Super. But moving on to the actual point when Goku turns into the Super Saiyan God. I was actually really hyped for this moment. Just because, like I said, back to the animation, it was animated so well, I was actually getting absorbed into the episode, interested in everything that was going on. So I just watched Goku turn into the Super Saiyan God, hair all red, everything. Everybody's freaking out, wondering if it worked. Uh, Dende said it worked. 
And then Goku apologizes to Beerus and he says, like, I'm here. Sorry that it took so long. And then the episode just cut off. Dragon Ball Super really has a tendency to cut off right when a point's about to get good. And usually in the next point where it's gonna get good, it's like a really solid episode. So I'm expecting the next episode when we actually begin the fight between Super Saiyan God Goku and Beerus. I think that's going to be a very solid episode with like little things to pick at but nothing big at all so definitely expect either a day one or day two review of that episode gonna watch it live gonna watch the sub version then get my own video out but that's pretty much the episode that's all i really wanted to talk about today so leave a like if you guys enjoy definitely make sure to check out the dragon ball super review playlist i did not make a dragon ball super manga episode three review yet and I don't think I will. I'm just going to wait until uh, Manga 4 comes out and then do a 3 and 4 manga review in the same video. I think that that can, you know, cover a lot more ground on the video or on the channel. And I wouldn't really be wasting my time. I'd get it all done at once. But that's pretty much everything. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Check out all the other videos. I'm going to head out of here now. Peace out, everybody.